I don't know exactly what the hell is going on, but it sounds scary. Hello and welcome back to Mr. Red Plays Canarium or something. I'm Mr. Red and we just found a terrifying person wandering about. But I am looking for people, so maybe I should follow him? Oops, <laughs> maybe I should crouch instead. Uh, he went this way, so he must be in the living quarters. He's probably hiding in one of these lockers. James Barlow? Locked. Locked. Oh, it is a locker. C. Lenning? It's locked. Mm. H. Anderson? It's not locked. What do we got here? Nikolai Gogol, the portrait. Okay, read. Boy, I really wish that these books that you could, like, look at were actual gettable. If his coat is just right here, where is he now? It's a good question. He's not wearing his coat. Well, who's not wearing his coat? It's, uh, Anderson. H. Anderson is not wearing his coat. What about Ned Well? <laughs> oh, we got a walkie-talkie! That's good. Is it on? Does it work? Does it have batteries? Probably not. Found a walkie-talkie. Hey, by the way, I have a journal I can look at. Uh... Hmm. So I thought that this would update with my thoughts and findings, but it's not seeming to. Okay, Johann DeWitt. Locked? Locked. And Hansen? Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Okay. What are these? What are those? What is this thing, though? What, what, like, what is this? What is that symbol? What is this? I don't understand what I'm looking at here. I don't like it. All right. I'll just leave you, leave you be. Alright, cool. Uh, close this. Close this. Close this. I can't. That's locked. And that's locked. David Burka and L. Ferguson. I don't know what the hell these things are. I can't take any of them. That's probably fine. Why are they out here? Surely they didn't roll all this far, did they? Maybe they did. Let's assume they did. Well, I can't go in here. These are the private rooms. The rooms where the privates go. Okay. Ah, oh, jeez. MC Blake. Why are all these doors openable? I was expecting, like, all of these to be locked. This is like a fully open world. Locked. I don't want to... I don't want to spend all my life just exploring rooms. I want to go the path. What do we got here? We're, whoa, ow, okay. There we go. Frontal lobe, parietal lobe, temporal lobe, penal gland, <laughs> pons, medulla obligata, cerebellum... Hey, this is cool, by the way. The uh, cursor here that I'm moving around, the uh, freaking light follows it. That's pretty neat. I like that. Scientifically, the pineal gland, also known as the pineal body, canarium, or epi 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 <clears throat> cerebrate, uh, is a small endocrine gland in the vertebrate brain named after its shape, which resembles that of a pine cone. Does it? Is it this thing here? Sure. Uh, it is located in the epithalamus near the center of the brain between the two hemispheres. The pineal gland produces melatonin, a serotonin-derived hormone which modulates sleep patterns in both circadian and seasonal cycles. Yes, I take melatonin sometimes when I can't sleep. But mystic traditions and philosophy ascribe it a different role. Rene Descartes regarded it as the principal seat of the soul and the place in which all our thoughts are formed. That's deep, man. And in the writings of Madame Blavatsky, it was explained in the Hindu concept of the third eye, or the Ayina Chakra. As a part of the human body, not fully understood today, it's whole, it holds a deep-rooted place as one of the most important links between our material and the continually degrading mystic nature. Cool. That's good to know. Hey, I took that. I've obtained a trophy item. Alright, neat. Hidden plants of great antiquity. Hidden? Plants? How could a plant be hidden? Damn this read thing! Damn this read thing! It shouldn't say read if there's nothing to read, you know what I mean? It's stuck. Okay. What's this? Can't do anything with it. It's stuck. That's annoying. Oh, here, I've uh, got this. What's this do? Alright, maybe it'll work on this. Hey! No. Okay, fine. Whoa, whoa, alright! Okay, generated generated voice is outputted to speakers 
Incoming power needs to be regulated by a device on the loop. Main feed input backside. Auditory and visual data are fed to the main system by the primary filters? Is it really possible to feed the machine with an actual human brain? What? Wait, what? What? Hold on. Feed the machine with a brain? Ancient sources speak too secretive about this. Based on the writings of R. Bacon and Wolfgang von Kemplen, or Kempler, I'll try to improve the machine. What the hell are you talking about? Alright, we got an upside down triangle times E equal. Wait, why is this blinking now? Oh. 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 Oh, 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 oh. Am I changing anything? Is anything changing? It doesn't look like... Oh, there we go. Those are getting further and further apart. It's getting slower and faster. What if I slow it down to the slowest possible setting? There we go. Is it possible I need to line these up with the red things? Oh, well, that's too fast. Hold on. Hold on. I think that's right. There we go. Like that. Oh! 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 I think I'm close, maybe? Whoa, too fast. Dude, I don't know. Oh, maybe I did it once, now I have to do it again. Okay. I think I'm there. Yeah! I did it! That means now I can do this? Hey, I'm figuring stuff out! Oh, jeez, okay. Whoa, really? Oh, I don't like this. By the way, is anything behind me? No, okay, good. Oh, I don't like Who this at you? all. Uh, uh I'm, I'm Frank. Frank Gilman. Good to meet you, I'm Frank Gilman. <laughs> is that so? Yeah, I think so. I think it's so. Get is out of here. Is there a problem with that? Yeah, huge one. Bam! <laughs> Shoot name ya. Is Frank Gilman. An anthropologist no. joining this expedition upon the invitation by Venerable Dr. Faust himself. No, you're not. That's me. You're thinking of me. You're you getting yourself confused. Me. That's absurd. I should say so. Why? I don't know. Oh! <gasps> hey, look at this! You are claiming that you are me, Frank Gilman, but you are just a machine. Where is everybody? What do you know about Dr. Faust? Okay, tell me, Frank. Why are you here exactly? Where is everybody? Maybe you know something. Where I don't know. Everybody? Dow don't know. Doubt it. Dowdy! They are here. Really? I don't see anybody around. Are you sure? I don't see anybody around. Oh, you know what? Sure? I don't want to let him do the talking. Yes. Oh, good. Okay, good. What do you know about Dr. Faust? What do you know about Sorry. Dr. Faust? Habit. He is the Grand Mastermind and the pioneer of this expedition. Hmm. You're claiming that you are me, Frank Gilman, but you are just a machine. And you are just air. Air? What do you mean by that? Uh, bro? It doesn't answer me. Okay. Okay, Frank. This is very weird. Can I say that? Exactly. Can I say how weird this is? I am here because of my extensive knowledge on the human pineal gland. Again, that's me. I am one of the canaronauts. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I need you to run that by me one more time. I'm not sure about this. This is... Stop doing this, Frank! <laughs> Frank 2. Voyagers beyond. Beyond? What beyond? beyond. Oh. What beyond? Star Trek Beyond? That's probably what he's talking about. No answer. Alright, cool. Well, I found a secret! Was all this, like, extra? So you go- you know what? Here, why don't we, uh, put you away for a while. Hang up. Eh, I can't do it. Alright, uh, here's my torch. By the way, I wasn't done looking at all this stuff. After our- oh, jeez. Okay, after our haphazard and momentary aerial exploration of the unholy 
utterly alien psychopian maze of square curved and angled blocks, we could detect most of the locations revealed by the previous Miskatonic University expedition leader. The professor, Emitri em Emer... What is going on with this game and all the words? I don't know. Emeritus William Dyer. But what we are looking for is not there, inside the haunted Shagath ruins. According to various sources, it should be in the much older ruins beyond the Elder City. Right on the edge of a mountain beyond the Mountains of Madness. That's the name of the book, right? Is that what this is? The Mountains of Madness? I've never read it, so I don't know. It was built over a location deeply shunned by the Elder Things, and built long before the colossal city Dr. Dyer and his team explored. When This was... January, February, March, May 2nd, 1949. Okay, so what time is it now? What, I know it's 49 in my time as well. But I don't know what day well, day or month it is. Now we set foot upon lands no one has ever seen before. Vast, a vast mass of dry land near, around, near the South Pole, near. Which rose from a prime, primal waters and the old ones seeped down from the stars. A place so evil most of the arcane sources hesitated to record it at all while some murals within the Elder City depicted it with obvious repugnance and trepidation. This is awesome, but also terrifying. Where am I? Where are we? I hope we're very far away from all this. I found a note about the location of the base. This I never... This I don't understand. It looks light. I don't know. All right, cool. Well, this has been a nightmare. I found a note. Expl oh, here we go. 502. Oh, that was the one. Whoa, hold on. <laughs> Secrets, I found them. Oh, I see. Okay. So going up and down on my left stick is doing this, but going right and left is going this. You know what I mean? But it's very finicky. Sometimes I hit down when I mean to go right. All right, 18.6. Oh, oh, wait a second. British, I forgot. Okay, so it wasn't May 2nd, it was February 5th. God damn. Alright, so July 18th was when all this stuff happened. Dr. DeWitt's medical records. I just found... Oh, here we go. Did we read... Did I read this? Yeah. Elder Repugnance. Right. So this all happened on February 5th. And then I just found this. Which is June 23rd. I know we're close to what we've been looking for. During the adaptation sessions we hold here in the meeting room, I feel a guidance of some sort, something pointing me towards the destination we seek. This could mean we are now in sync with the ancient source. Good! The wearable canarium we're carrying on our left arms connects and thus receives sensation from the same ancient source. Okay. And sometimes I wonder whether there has been, ever been another soul during humanity's relatively brief period of existence who was able to achieve such a feat. Probably not. Within some shunned and elusive sources I have gathered from around the world, it is said that the extraterrestrial species, the Elder Thing race, built it after passing through a stage of mechanized life on other planets, but its purpose remains unclear. I don't know exactly what the hell is going on, but it sounds scary. Dr. Blake's room. That's where I am now. Dr. Blake's room. Alright. That's very weird. Alright, cool. Well, I have one new item in my inventory. <laughs> we can probably go ahead and ignore that. That seems to be a, a steam thing that doesn't really apply in this context. Can I do anything else in this room? No. Then it's time to leave, but first, we'll do it in the next episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Why don't you go on and go ahead and two days from now you can tune in again and watch the next episode. I think it's going to be a good one. We're going to encounter Cthulhu and kill him in the next one. So tune in for that. I'm looking forward to it. And I hope to see... I didn't pause. I haven't been paused. I hope to see you again. Bye, everyone.